As the war in Ukraine continues, so too does the humanitarian crisis left there. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler introduces us to a group doing all they can to bring some relief. Constant bombing and shelling has reduced once beautiful cities and homes to mere rubble as Russia continues its relentless attacks, leaving millions to fight, hide or run for their lives. She says that her house is bombed right now. She doesn't have a place to come back to. And there is a lot of mines everywhere, even in the rivers. And like every other house is bombed. Helena is 82 years old, and her home in Irpin, a town outside of Kyiv, was destroyed. And after hiding under a table for a week, she made it over 500 miles to the small town of Storozhenets. That is where she found help with the people of Caritas, a small charitable group located in Storozhenets. So at first, when the war broke out, um, it wasn't a fund, it wasn't foundation, it was just a group of people from our town, small town, who wanted to help. Uh, primarily, they wanted to help our soldiers. Uh, but then people started coming from different cities of Ukraine. Svetlana and her young son Andri were forced to leave her injured mother and ill grandfather behind as they fled their home in Kharkiv. The volunteers from Starozhenets, they helped get them here. They have been helping them. They helped them get uh, accommodation and food. And she's very worried. To help those seeking refuge from the war and those on the front lines, Karatas and Storozhenets needs help. We will accept any help, be it financial help or uh, help with supplies, food, medicine, or just even words. Simple words of encouragement from those outside of Ukraine to let them know they are not forgotten. They help us be stronger and they make us understand that we are not the only ones in the world who want to fight this evil, who want this to end, who want peace. Peace and safety in the very place they once felt the safest, their home. Reporting for 25 News, I'm Adam Schindler.